Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this quick take. My name is Alba Rivas. I am a developer advocate at Salesforce and today I'm going to explain to you how to adapt your Lightning Web Components app to work nicely on mobile by making it responsive. So let's get to it. If you are working with Lightning Web Components and you are ready to get started with mobile development, the first place to go is the official documentation where you are going to find all the guidelines and best practices recommended by the mobile platform team. To better showcase the tools that we are going to introduce today, we are going to use Dreamhouse. Dreamhouse is one of our sample apps and it represents a fictitious real estate company in which sales reps can sell properties. So in Dreamhouse, in this property explorer page, sales reps can modify the filter criteria to retrieve properties that they want to sell from the backend. When the sales rep clicks on one of those properties, the component on the right hand side gets updated to show more details about the property. And if the uh, person wants to navigate to the property record page, then they have to click on this icon here. So now that you know what Greenhouse is about, we're going to start working on it to adapt it for mobile. First, let's open the page on App Builder to take a look at the local tools that can help us. The first tool that we are going to use is the device switcher. With the device switcher, you can switch among different kinds of previews that you can have of your page and of your components. We are going to switch from desktop to phone. And there we have. This is how our page would look like on a phone. Here there are two important things that I want to highlight. First of all, the uh, template that we are using is responsive, the lightning page template. And that is why my layout in desktop has three columns, but in mobile has only one column because it gives final users a much better user experience. The second important highlight is that take a look at this grid component. The grid component also changed and it changed because in my code I'm using standard lining based components and most of them are responsive by default. The navigation pattern that we saw before is great for desktop, but probably too many clicks for mobile. So what we are going to do is to simplify that behavior. We are going to implement a new pattern in which when the user taps on one of the property thumbnails, we are going to redirect the user to the property record page directly. So next, we are going to get rid of this component at the bottom of the page only for mobile because we don't need it anymore. And for that, we are going to use a visibility filter. We are going to create a visibility filter that only shows this component when the form factor is desktop. To check the results, I'm going to open the Salesforce app on my mobile device. And there we have, we can see that the component on phone is not shown anymore. As you can see, in App Builder, there are some great features that you can use to adapt your Lightning Web Components apps for mobile. Now, let's take a look at some of the code features. Something that you can use to adapt your Lightning Web Components look and feel to the different form factors is a module that you can import in your JavaScript file called Client Form Factor. On top of device form factors, FlexiPage regions also have a width that can be large, medium, and small. And if you want to detect that region width in your Lightning Web Components, you can do it as well by using an API property. So let's make our component responsive. For that, we're going to import the form factor module. 
Next, we are going to import the navigation mixing because remember that we want to navigate to the property record page directly when the thumbnail is tapped and we can do that with the navigation service is the recommended way to do it. And finally, we are going to add an if else statement to differentiate the two possible use cases and implement the behavior for the small form factor using our amazing navigation service. Finally, we are going to push the code to our organization and let's take a look at the results. This is my mobile device again, and when I tap on the first property, voila, I'm redirected to the property record page as expected. Great, so we have arrived to the end of the video. We saw some low code and pro code features that can help you adapt your Lightning Web Components apps for mobile, making them responsive. Now I recommend you to take a look at some great resources. You can take a look at the LWC for Mobile Developer Center where you are going to find videos, blogs, podcasts and documentation about this topic. Um, I also recommend you to take a look at the guidelines I mentioned at the beginning of the video and of course at the documentation for form factor and flexi page region width. If you liked this video, remember to like it on YouTube, remember to subscribe to the channel as well and to click on the bell to receive notifications. Thank you so much and hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.